Another game that didn't get the coverage it deserved. Floating Islands by Slim McKenzie. Again, just like his other work, still one of the strongest platformers out there. When you consider this was out early in the beta, it stands the test of time. It's an example to other people wanting to make platformers. And I've noticed something. I think his chat. Oh no, it still rotates. The idea is to collect these. For. Uh, not power ups, but to change the way he looks. Like we'll go for a cap. There, look, we've got 12. We've got a cap. That's pretty snazzy, isn't it? I like these as well. The way these have been done. There's hidden ones down here. You collect a nice platformer. Nice music, nice presentation, vivid, fantastic. Ha ha ha! Knew I'd done that wrong. Let's try that again. To get that one up there. It's on, off, on. Very well done, isn't it? And you get these hats as well. I think I've got enough, yeah. There you go. Pretty cool. And it's quite a lengthy, lengthy game. You know, take a good 15 minutes to get to the top. Very well done. Oh, there's something down here as well, I think. Hidden. Yeah, there it is, look. It obviously gets harder as you go up. So yeah, go and try it out, folks. It's an exceptionally well-made game. And I always say, say, follow the creators. Thanks for watching. I will say, very well. Toodle pip. Au revoir. And all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.